Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is uh, day 11 of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Oh, look. So sometimes I cook on the contest page so that uh, sometimes this thing on the on the left side, feeling lucky, appears. And if you click on it, you get 10 lead coins. I don't know what it does, but you know, it adds up maybe. Alright, today's farm is 863. All nodes distance K in binary tree. Alright, so given a root of a binary tree, the value of a target target and an integer K, return an array of values of all nodes that have a distance K from the target node. Now assume all of them are unique. Okay. So, mm, this one's kind of annoying, but. Uh, there may be a couple of ways you can think about doing it. I, uh, they're all kind of annoying, but, uh, so the easy way I think is to just as a, as a, in a way, um, we would the node, uh, or we would the tree with the node and then maybe just do a breath first search. That's probably the easiest. Uh, and it just becomes like a standard shortest path or in this case it's not well it is a shortest path well any simple path is going to be shortest uh between two nodes just because it's a tree right but uh yeah so you could do something like that you can also if you really want to be clever um do some do some stuff about like you know uh um like for example in this example uh five is two from one uh two distance away from one because three is one distance away from one and then you have kind of like do some math on on how to do it that way but but if you ask me that's just like way prone to to making silly mistakes uh and i don't even think the space consideration is that much better so yeah all right so i think that i'm just gonna do is um uh okay so given a tree node a tree node what does it have right a tree node has two links one to the left uh, subtree one to the right subtree so what we're going to do is add uh, a parent link so that it becomes easier to kind of traverse the the tree up uh up and down i guess down the tree it, if you're familiar with linked list it's kind of analogous to to you know converting a single link list to a doubly linked list or something like this um in python you can really do, you can you know, they give you, uh, <laughs> like, you can definitely muck around with stuff, uh, even though maybe that's not the, the uh, uh, preferred way of doing things, but you can do it very easily in another way, and they're both linear space anyway, if you do it that way. And what I mean by that is, let's say you have, um, you know, some node that's a tree node, you can just do something like node that parent is, you go to some parent, right? Um, of course, if you if that feels yucky to you for whatever reason, you can also just have a a, a lookup table, a hash table of like something like this as you go to parent or something like this, right? So, and they're both the equivalent other than syntax, right? Um, in fact, this is probably more performant because you don't have to deal with hashing and all this stuff. You just literally have a thing, but but modifying uh data structures that in theory you shouldn't have permission to is always a little bit yucky i'm aware but i am lazy so yeah all right let's kind of um let's first uh connect to all the parents so yeah so now we do a we could do a depth first search or uh, uh yeah on this or just a recursion right uh, and then maybe for node and a parent, right? And then if node is none, we return. Otherwise, node.parent is equal to parent. And then we recursively do this to to the uh, ooh, can't type to the to subtrees. And then of course you have to call it, which I you know, make this mistake a lot actually, <laughs> or just forget. Not not, really, not a, a, a critical mistake per se. But, uh, but yeah, and also maybe, you know, given that we, oh, is target, mm, 
Huh. Let me see. Because I, I don't know how they give this target, right? Uh, and what I mean by that is that is target already a tree node that is inside the tree? Or is it like a, a Ryu thing of a, a representation of a where the dot value is equal to that of something in the tree? And that I'm not super clear on, um, but I guess this will let us find out. Uh, so yeah, so... I guess actually technically, if this is the root, this would actually also be false. So maybe that's not sufficient. Um, mm, what I mean by the, what, what I'm trying to do is figure out like whether we can just start from target or do we have to search in the the tree for target in the tree, right? Uh, let's let's do it assuming that target is already the the memory value reference that's already in the tree, and then we'll just do it that first search then, right? Uh, then yeah, Q is equal to connection dot Q dot append target and then we have zero and then while well, length of Q is greater than zero, we have the current node and the distance is equal to popping it. And then oh yeah, we, maybe we just keep an answer right. Right? If D is equal to K, then we append node. In either case, we want to append for next node in node.left, node.right, node.parent. Uh, yeah. So, but it also introduces a thing which we have to check for a second. Um, because bef before, this would be a single unit. Right, like if you think about yesterday's thing, because you're always going down the tree. But here now you're going up and down. We have to be careful that we don't get into cycles. Otherwise, you know, it's a little bit sad. Um, but yeah, so maybe we can do something like, uh, eh, maybe we can just add something like node dot done is false, right? And then you go if if next node dot done on if this is not true, then we do it, right? Uh, do -do -do -do, Q dot append, do -do, next node, next done, next node, D plus one. And that's pretty much it. Should be okay, assuming that we don't have to search for target. Uh, none object. Oh, I, I knew this actually. I, I do -do -do, If next node is not none. But, uh, but I forgot when I was, because I was focusing on a done part, I forgot. Uh, hmm. Oh, 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 we have to return, we have to append the value, not the, uh, not the actual node, apparently, for whatever reason, so, alright, why is 5, do, 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 do. hmm, the reason why this is wrong is because we have to do target dot done is true, so then it was doing the thing that we're saying about psychos, uh, yeah. Uh, it looks okay. Let's give it a quick submit. And it looks good. Almost 1200 day streak. Uh, yeah. And again, if this looks weird to you or if you're just using another language where this is not possible, definitely you can replace this with something like parents. Uh, a node is you go to par parent. And then this is like, you know, done of node as you go to force or something like this, right? And of course, you would you would set it up with something like parents as you go to do this done you know, do, 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 or something like this uh and, and you can also hash on the dot value instead of the node value but yeah the node reference value to, if you want to be precise kind of uh i'm not gonna get into that thing in a little bit but yeah um this is gonna be linear time linear space linear be in the time because we have to look at each node once i guess in theory you could do a little bit better than that uh, for example, if k is small, you can maybe do something about the branching factor or something like this and uh, early terminate so we don't have to calculate. But eh, isotomically, it's still going to be linear time and linear space comes from the Q, comes from this thing or this thing uh, and all these other things, right? So linear time, linear space, and that's what I have for this one. Let me know what you think. 
Happy Monday or Tuesday, depending on where you are. Have a good rest of the week. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.